guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Justin Barry Pizza, and this is my story. Okay, vibes. So I know y'all looking at the title like, girl, are you serious? Another power station. I know y'all getting sick and tired of me. I'm getting sick and tired of me too, child. All right, but let me tell you something. Every power station is different. It is different, and we're gonna thank to go power today. One for sponsoring this video, and two for showing us something different on a power station that I ain't never seen before. Okay, we just gonna say that. All right. All right. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and quickly jump into the video. It's been raining a lot so i've been trying to like squeeze this video in in between the rain slots so yeah real quick we just gonna go ahead and jump right into it and then i will show you all a few things that i use to power the power station so without further ado let's go ahead and get started for okay 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 vibes so to go power sent me over their advanced 350 this is 330 watts okay it's cute or whatever y'all and before we even get started let's just jump straight into it do y'all see the color it's vibrant, like vibrant peace. Like they knew what they was doing when they did it. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yes, it is a yellow to go power advanced 350, 330 watts. All right, so we're gonna start from the top. Okay, so vibes on the top here, you do have a light switch here. Hold on, let me uh, focus on it. Okay, focus, we done, all right. It does have a light switch here, but when you click the light, child, guess where it come from? The light come from the side, how cute is that? Not only is this is a flashlight, but if you press the light again, girl, you got you a little lantern, okay? Who is that? That's me out there, girl. That is me out there. Now, they do not work both at the same time. So if you hold this button here, it will actually turn on your SOS mode. So the flashlight turns into SOS, which is dope, child, okay? Again, they knew what they was doing. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Thank you. All right. So, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. All right. Now we're going to put the flap down and just get into the top. Now, the top also has a 10 amp wireless charger on the top for you to charge your cell phone. I love it, yeah. Love it. All right. Moving right on down. You do have your power button. I'm going to go ahead and power it over. I'm going to warn y'all. Child, I ain't got that much battery on here because I've been using it. Okay? All right. So, yeah that's that we're at 40 we're at 47 percent, so we're under a little bit of a half charge because again i've been using jazz because of the handy okay before we get into the display we're gonna go to the left hand side on the left hand side it has the dc port now your dc port is the 12 volts and it also have two 5.5 millimeter um ports there also on the usb side okay girl we have three qc um ports that runs at three amps and then we also have a usb um pd port and that actually runs at 60 amps it's only one of those at the bottom and then above that is your three qc um ports there on the ac side there is only one ac port and the ac port pulls at 15 amp then right here of course we have our input because baby girl we got to charge it dude so our input port is 12 volts to 28 volts all right so moving right along on both sides there is a fan that's one side here one side here one other thing that I wanted to point out that I haven't seen on mini power station is these rubber edges here. So I feel like honestly, if this thing was to fall, it wouldn't like, you know, shatter everywhere. I feel like it got a little bit of protection on it. It reminds me almost like um, an out of box for like a tablet or something. Okay, vibe. so real quick, we're gonna go ahead and plug up my, let's start with my um, charger for my laptop. Now I'm gonna use the AC port and then I'm also going to use the um, USB port as well just to show you guys the difference of how many watts that it's gonna be pulling. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in real quick. Y'all bear with me, y'all know I'll be out here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the AC button. This is how you power it on. So right now, let me give it a few seconds and let's see how many watts exactly it's, it's going to be pulling. So right now it is constantly jumping up and down between 80 and 90 watts that it's pulling. I honestly feel like that's a lot, but you guys know with the Apple products, sometimes you to just do the most. Let's just say that, okay? So that's the AC port. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take it out of the AC port and turn that off. And I'm gonna plug it into the USB port here, the one on the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one on and let's see how many watts it is pulling then. Okay. 
Okay, so while that is turned on, I just want to go over a couple things about the display. On the display here, not only does it show you like your battery, like the battery slots of where it's at, it also gives you that percentage at the bottom. If you've been watching my channel, you do know that there are some other power stations that it doesn't show you the actual percentage of how much battery life you have left. So also it shows here as far as output, it's showing that it can run up to four hours with just my laptop plugged in. And it also gives you how many watts it's currently pulling from this item here. So I do like that because again, in other power stations that I have, it don't tell me how long I have until my battery life is dead as far as like hours we're gonna go ahead and take that off and I'm gonna turn that off also there are three power cords that came along with this power station I'll show you all three once we get to it but right now this is the car one and I'm gonna actually plug it up in my car and I'm gonna see how much input it's going to get for this station Okay, vibe. So I do currently have it plugged into my charger here, and it's telling me here on um, my input it would take two hours for me to get a full battery. And then as far as my DC, how many watts is actually pulling in? It's showing that it's pulling 56 watts from my car. So that's with the car chat. Plug it up with the car chat. Okay, vibe. So I do have the solar panel here, and I'm gonna be honest, I have not yet tried the solar panel. Um, again, because it's been raining a lot where I'm currently at. Okay, vibe. So this is what the solar panel looks like. There is a zipper here. Hold on, go the right way. Okay, so there's a zipper here. You undo the zipper, and on the inside, it gives you the um, using examples and about the weather on how to use it okay now one thing I did have trouble with especially for someone I've never used like a solar panel with this port here I was trying to figure out how to actually plug it in but it does what come come with ports and one of the ports it comes with is this one here I put all the names of the bottom child I'm that good with the terminology okay so when you have this here okay you want to turn the ports upside down make sure the red is with the red and the black is with the black okay S slide that in just like that and then you'll take the cord that plugs in. as you all can see is definitely a different day but I did want to test out my solar panel um, in as much sunlight as I could as possible so let's just go ahead and get straight to it okay 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 vibe so I currently have the solar panel now hooked up I have it facing towards the sun so as most solar panels have they do have the stands on the back so that way you you'll be able to prop up your solar panel and I also have the power station behind the solar panel so that way it's not exposed to too much sun okay and as you all can see the power station right now is inputting um, 51 watts and it's saying that it will take me approximately two hours to um, get a full charge off of my solar panel currently as I told you guys before the Sun I mean it's out but it ain't out out okay and this is what I'm currently getting now from the solar panel now this solar panel is a hundred watt solar panel I like how it has the yellow um, trimming on it really really nice and then also as I stated before you could get this wet but you can't get it as wet um, because although this top part is waterproof the cords in this bag right here on the back side, it is not waterproof. So you don't want to get this wet, but this part actually could get wet. So you could like sit it on your car, like you're traveling during the daytime, but you do want to make sure you do not get it severely wet. So this is what the solar panel looks like here. All the cords that comes with the solar panel, I'll also list those on the screen as well. And then again, all the cords that come with the station, I'll list those as well. All right. So I'm just gonna sit this out here for a few minutes or so and then yeah, we'll just go from there. Again, it's showing right now it's pulling 56. Well 54. Between okay, 57. Alrighty, 54. Alright, anywhere between 54 and 58 um, watts is what it's pulling right now. Um, and it's showing about two hours to charge. Right now we're at 51 percent. So that's not too bad, especially if you're out somewhere and you're just sitting down and you don't have anything much to do, then that'll be good. Okay, vibe. So that's gonna wrap things up for my video. But before leaving, I did want to state one thing. When I technically take sponsorships, especially for a power station, I not only think about myself, but I think about others as well. As you guys know, in Louisiana, New York, and Mexico, a lot of people are now currently without power. So by doing what I could, 
Well, wait a minute. Why are you loud, sir? I'm trying to. Uh, okay. Yeah. So doing my part, I can actually go out and help the ones in need. And also, too, my grandparents, they live, like, in a country area. And any, like, little small storm that they go through, the power would, like, go out. Like, just like that. And the fact that they live so far away from, like, grocery stores, convenience stores, by me giving them a power station, they're able to keep things cool and warm that they need. For example, my grandparents, they take a lot of medicine because they are diabetics. So being that they have their insulin cool um, and any other medicine that they take can be kept cool by using a power station, I think about that as well. I have a huge family, like a huge, huge family. And as you guys know, I am very family oriented and I'll do whatever it takes, you know, to make sure that not only am I straight, but make sure others are straight as well. And I don't necessarily like to brag or talk about things that I have done for people because that's not what I am about. I just do them because I do them out of heart and I don't ever speak on it. But I do want to briefly mention this while we're on the topic, but there was another power station that I had. And if you caught my live, you already know and can vouch for me when I say this. But I came across a family um, that was living in their car with a, you know, a, a little girl. And my heart literally like just broke. So I did what I could for them. Not only did I give them my storage unit, I also gave them a power station as well. So it's the small things that can help people people that you wouldn't even think of you know being that I am able to have sponsorships and have companies reach out to me and ask me to do a review on their product I am more grateful than to being able to give back to others if that makes sense at all but I'm not always thinking about myself when I do certain things especially when I do sponsorships I think about other people as well now child i don't know why i decided it was a great idea to freeze my face oh this position just like this but anywho if you look down in my description box there will be a link for you to click on so that way you can save on your own to go power as well and make sure you use the code vibrant to receive 15 percent off and remember when you make your purchase don't only think about yourself but think about others as well all right but that's enough of jibber jabber i really want to say thank you so much to go power for sponsoring today's video and send it over this solar panel and also power station for me to view for my viewers and for myself as well and others whoever may need it you just never know all right bye so that's gonna wrap things up for this video today thank you all so much for stopping by and watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe and always stay vibrant peace